I mean, come on, look at this. Doesn't this look delicious? And I promise you, it tastes even better. These are the best nachos you'll ever eat. They're so delicious, so easy, so versatile, and it will take you no time at all to make them. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So keep watching. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into it. In a pan over medium high heat, I added about one tablespoon of olive oil and 500 grams, which is about one pound of ground beef. You can also find the measurements in the description box below, so make sure you check there. And I'm just breaking up my beef into smaller pieces, so go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper. Then I went ahead and I stirred it and I turned the heat down to medium and I let it cook. While you're cooking it, you're going to realize that your beef is going to render out some liquid. Some of it is fat, but some of it is just plain water. So you're just going to cook the beef until most of that liquid has evaporated. And in the meantime, we'll move on to preparing our nachos. For the nacho chips, you're going to need some tortilla. Use any that you like. You can use corn or flour. I'm using store-bought flour tortilla today. And I'm going to slice it into triangles. Then I'm going to brush it with some oil and bake it in the oven at 180 until it's nice and crisp, which should take about 10 minutes on each side. So after the 10 minutes, you're going to flip them and bake them for another 10 minutes on the other side. And then you're going to take them out and they'll be nice and crispy. Now you'll see that most of the liquid in the beef has evaporated and that's when I'm going to add in one diced onion and four cloves of mashed up garlic. You can use more or less depending on how garlic you like it. I love garlic so four is good for me. Give that a good stir and then we're going to add in our spices. For spices, if you've got taco seasoning, go ahead and use that or just refer to the description box below for the exact measurements of the spices that I used. I added in the spices and I kept stirring until it was nice and fragrant. Then I added two cups of cooked white beans. You can also add black beans here or even kidney beans, whatever beans that you like. And I tossed them a little bit with the meat and then I added some more oregano because I had felt that it wasn't enough. And then I added two cups of grated tomatoes. You can also use tomato paste. If you don't have grated tomatoes, you can grate your own. You can use crushed. You can use fresh tomatoes. Just add in whatever tomatoes that you like. And I gave that a nice good stir. Then I added about one cup of corn, sweet corn that was frozen. And I gave that a toss as well. You can leave that out if you don't want it. I love mine with corn. I think it's delicious. The sweetness just gives it something extra. And then I covered it and I let it cook for about 10 minutes on low heat. Then I went ahead and I assembled my nachos. I started off with the chips. I added my meat mixture. I also like a bit of freshness in there. So I used freshly sliced tomatoes, some pickled jalapenos, and some cheddar cheese sauce, some avocados, and it was ready to enjoy. I think we can all agree that it is very easy, and I promise you, it is very delicious. You have to make this, and feel free to top it with whatever you like. If you don't want the tomatoes, leave them out, add sour cream, use whatever toppings your heart desires, make it your own. I promise you, you will love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give this recipe a try soon. Please hit the like button if you like my recipe, and please don't forget forget to subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes. Bye bye!